no crying. There's no crying in baseball. This video will analyze a scene from the movie A League of Their Own. To give some context to this scene, A League of Their Own is a movie that takes place in the 1940s during World War II. Since most young men were drafted, owners of baseball teams wanted women to play in order to keep the team in business. The following scene shows a conflict between the drunkard male coach and the female team. Say, hey, Evelyn, can I ask you a question? You got a moment? Mm -hmm. Which team do you play for? Well, I I'm a peach. Well, I was just wondering, because I couldn't figure out why you would throw home when we've got a two-run lead. You let the tying run get on second, and we lost the lead because of you. Now you start using your head. That's not love that's three feet above your ass. <laughs> Are you crying? No. Are you crying? Oh. Are you crying? <laughs> There's no crying. There's no crying in baseball. Why don't you leave her alone, Jimmy? Oh, you zip it, Doris. Rogers Hornsby was my manager, and he called me a talking pile of pig shit. And that was when my parents drove all the way down from Michigan to see me play the game. And did I cry? No, no. No! <laughs> no! And you know why? No. Because there's no crying in baseball. There's no crying in baseball! No crying! What's the matter, Jimmy? What? She's crying, sir. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Perhaps you chastise her too vehemently. Good rule of thumb. Treat each of these girls as you would treat your mother. You want to ever tell you look like a penis with a little hat on? Oh my goodness. You're out of here! Oh, no, right no, no, now, no, Jimmy, you, I heard you that! Misunderstood. You misunderstood me! You misunderstood me! No, I didn't. You can't throw me off for that! No, Jimmy. you got to strike off! The best no! And that is not what I'm going to tell you! Get off this field! I can't believe no one ever called you that before! That's what you did! I'm in charge now! In this scene, the coach comes off as a rude, aggressive man's man, a perfect image of hegemonic masculinity. His coach didn't accept crying and weakness when he played, and neither will he. What is interesting about this scene is that although the coach is obnoxious, rude, and aggressive, he is trying to help the girls break free of orthodox gender roles that society expects them to play. He seems blind to the fact that they are women. He would have yelled at a male player the same way. When the umpire walks over to see what the commotion is, he tells the coach that he should treat each of these girls as you would treat your own mother. The coach clearly disagrees with this and insults the umpire and starts a shouting match. Stereotypically, one would think that a rough baseball coach shouting at the umpire would agree with the idea that women should be kept out of sports and that they should try and keep elements of their femininity intact if they do play. However, he uses his disagreement to argue that baseball is baseball. It doesn't matter that there are girls playing. They should be held to the same standards as any player would be. By not toning down his shouting, he's making a statement that these girls should not play like girls. They should not exhibit inhibited intentionality. They shouldn't be handicapped by society's idea of how they should play. They should just play baseball. Ironically, after the coach is ejected from the game for trying to defy these gender roles, the women in the pink baseball outfits with skirts and well-done hair clap and cheer that he's gone. The very last seconds of the video clip give us hope, however. His odd but well-intentioned outburst may have made an impact. A woman on the team announces that she's in charge and takes over running the team without question. She at least doesn't seem inhibited by these orthodox gender roles. <laughs> 